Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to condense logarithmic expressions. And I'm not going to go through some problems because, um, you know, I kind of already have some videos on some basic ideas of that. But the main important thing when we're trying to condense, um, we got to understand what is our purpose and how and why we're going to do that. So the purpose of condensing is you have multiple logarithmic expressions. We want to condense down to one. Now to do that, we got to make sure that each of those logarithms has the exact same base. And as long as they have the same base, we can apply the properties of logarithms to rewrite them as a single um, logarithm. So we have to understand the properties, right? The properties, usually how we wrote them out is, you know, if you have the product, we can rewrite that as the sum of two logarithms. Well, now we're taking like the sum of two logarithms and rewriting them as one single quantity as the product. So we have to understand the um, properties, how they go back and forth. The next thing when condensing, you're going to want to follow the order of operations. And I know there's different variations of how to say and how to write the order of operations, but basically we want to look inside the parentheses first. And then any time that you have an exponent in front, rewrite that as the power, right, um, in there. And then always look for, well, there's really no multiplication and dividing that we can do. However, if we have addition and subtraction, we want to rewrite those as products and quotients of the logarithms. So understanding really what you're trying to accomplish, how and why and when you accomplish these those by knowing the properties, as well as following the order operands, that's operations. That's how you're going to condense logarithmic expressions. Thanks.